this video I would like to talk about the Vedic tradition. Um, the Vedas are holy books which probably originated from the uh, Indus civilization in what is now Pakistan and spread down to India. The essence of the Vedic tradition is very much that there is basically a a world around us, a large cosmos around us. But within that large cosmos there are certain laws, certain regularities which apply. So it is kind of a system, a machine. And using these natural laws and spiritual laws you can calculate the effects of your actions. So if you, for instance, drop a marble, it will hit the ground. And if you put your foot under it, it will hurt, or you will feel it, depending on how heavy the marble is and how high it will drop. And in the same way, we can work with the system. So the study of the system is very much the essence of the tradition. So we find it in the Western world very much in, for instance, astrology, uh, numerology, we are also trying to use systems to see the cycles which are occurring in life, in the cosmos. And trying by your understanding of the system to take advantage of the system. Instead of being be ground down by it. And trying to do things which are impossible. Uh, or to try things which yeah, you are not meant to do. So it is very much about understanding who you are, what you are, what is your place within this whole system and society. And there are several methods to develop this knowledge. Most principally there is meditation and yoga, which help you to develop clarity of thought, clarity of perception. And with this clarity of perception, we are able to maneuver ourselves into the direction we want to. If we are blindly flailing around, we go this way, we go that way, we go up, we go down, uh, because we are just like blind fish bouncing around in the dark. And this is unfortunately how most people are. And the basic tenet of the Vedic religions, uh, religions is knowledge. We need to develop the knowledge to understand the results of our actions and having understood that we can make a decision on where to go and how to move ourselves in that direction. So I talked in an earlier video about the distinction between the religion where you're focusing mainly on uh, doing things yourself, finding your own way and religions which focus mainly on working with higher powers as teachers. And I think this distinction is also very clear within these Vedic religions. So you have parts where you really focus on, in a way, do-it-yourself spirituality. Uh, the yoga tradition is of course a very great one where basically through exercises, through meditation, you try to achieve higher states of awareness, greater purity, greater perfection. And also the Theravada Buddhism, uh, where you try to achieve enlightenment by following the path of Buddha and yeah, his lessons, his teachings and anal analyze your life and what is in your life in the same way. Opposite you have the uh, Bhakti tradition where you say, okay, instead of using knowledge, I will use my heart to make progress and I will love the people around me. I will love the deities who are there to support me, to help us. I will find also a love connection with the uh, enlightened masters and the enlightened gods and goddesses, which will also, out of their love for me, try to help me, try to support me, try to put me in a good condition so that I may grow, I may thrive, I may prosper. But ultimately, also within even the Mahayana traditions of 
devotion to gods and goddesses. It's very different from paganism. But in paganism, you're really seeing the god as a role model for yourself. Like, I am going to be just like Ares. I will be the greatest and most masculine warrior of all time. So this is really the role model. But within the Vedic tradition, the gods are not seen as merely role models. They're more seen as caretakers. Um, the whole world is seen as a manifestation of the Creator. Um, and within that whole system, there are like axles and cogs. And every deity has their appointed role, has their appointed place. They do what they're made to do. And also humans do what they're made to do. Animals do what they're made to do. Plants do what they're made to do. And it all fits together like clockwork. And by understanding the clockwork, you know what is good for you, what is bad for you, what food to eat, what job to choose, who to marry. So these traditions tend to provide advice on everything by reala realization, by understanding the true nature of yourself and of the world around you. So it is very much an understanding religion, it's not purely a devotional religion. So if the Vedic tradition appeals to you, please go more deeply into it. The Vedic tradition has a Western counterpart, a little bit in the Gnostic and Hermetic traditions. Um, but personally, I would advise to study um, Buddhism, Hinduism, or any of their offsprings, like uh, Jainism, Sikhism, because the wealth of knowledge and the breadth of knowledge in these systems is very very great and can support you in all aspects of life and if this is not your choice we still have choices left